Okay, hello everybody. It's me, Barb. Uh, that's race. <laughs> <laughs> the genie in the background. <laughs> I'm security. <laughs> yeah, I'm security. That's right. No photos, please, everyone. No photos. <laughs> That's right. So what if it's going out over to the the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> no photos. No photos. So what I'm doing is I'm just playing with... Um, hi, Shu. Hi, Ina. <laughs> Ina says, hi, Race. <laughs> hi, Ina. <laughs> hi, Louise. <laughs> high security <laughs> so we're just doing some testing because since he's in town we always um, tweak things here and there so yeah so that's what we've been doing tweaking and changing a little bit so you get those of you that want to hang out you're going to find me switching cameras a lot kind of like um this whoops <laughs> we don't want to make that go live <laughs> I didn't do that yet. <laughs> His head was in the way. Hi, Denise. Hi, Margaret. Um, yeah, so I'll be switching shots around a whole lot. Um, that one won't work because <laughs> I have that one looking up at the shelf. So you're just going to see me playing with buttons and also... Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to make you look at the shelf. I should probably set that... Sorry about the big hair shot. I'll put this one up. Ouch. See if I can manage to leave this camera on its perch. Okay, let's see how that looks. It's not bad. Okay. <clears throat> that way um, you'll know what I'm doing. So I'm just testing the different shots out. So anyway... That's what's happening here today. Nothing. Hi, Athena. Nothing but a bunch of testing, and then we'll see what happens. So I'm going to be playing with buttons, because I'm trying to see if what we have set up is going to cooperate with us. All right, so I'm going to use a piece of watercolor paper, because i got to have something to do. Hi, Amber. Amber Moon. Hello, Zarifa. I see some names I haven't seen for a while. It's good to see you guys. Since this was not advertised in any way, anywhere. So I'll show you what I'm going to play around with. Some of you have seen me do this. Some of you have probably seen me do this a whole bunch of time. Hi, Christine. <laughs> bodyguard. <laughs> You're the bodyguard. Yes, I'm bodyguard. <laughs> bodyguard slash security. Security, security. Come help, come help, come to my rescue. It's enough. It's enough, everyone. It's enough. <laughs> no more looking. No, no more, more looking. No more photos. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, everybody. Just looking at something. Okay. You can look all you want. So, as I said, we're doing testing. So, if you see things being uh, adjusted, you'll understand where that's coming from testing kind of day okay so in a, in an effort hi Becky hi Bonnie in an effort to um, have something to do while we do the testing so he's listening for sound and looking at shots and so forth and so on I thought we'd do some goofy relatives so we're gonna take a look at the goofy relatives and then we'll see if we can do some does that sound good to you guys Hi, Chris. Uh, uh, okay, I don't see anybody saying anything, so we'll just go ahead. I don't think everything is. I think everything is working. Can okay. uh, is everything sound okay to everyone? That's all I'm looking for right now. Hi, Kathy. It looks fine to me. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure that the sound is fine. We changed a little bit. Does the sound sound okay? Like it's not too loud, like it's not too crispy and crunchy and staticky for everyone. That's I'm hearing it okay on my phone. Hi, Sarah. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Somebody wants to talk to you. Well, it's because I said Sarah. Oh. <laughs> Did you mean Sarah Evans? No. Go away. Okay. Go away. <laughs> Siri makes an appearance, <laughs> as usual. 
Siri is the most inconvenient thing that's supposed to be the most convenient thing. I need to change her name. Can you change your name to something no. else? Well, I don't know. Maybe you can. That's, uh, that's a question <laughs> was, for Apple. There was there was something that just ran through my head that I can't repeat. So, <laughs> what would you call her? <laughs> no, not gonna say that. Uh oh, Claus Man's here. He says it's good to him. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. <laughs> I just made I made Galena's Siri go off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I put her on the floor. So. Hey Alexa. <laughs> yeah. How many now, of those happen? Now you've messed up. Alexa's all over the world. Okay, Google. <laughs> okay, so... Hey, Siri. Hush. Why? Why? I'm busy. You're busy? I'm busy. I know this is supposed to be serious work over here, being it creative is. and having fun. It is serious They're not work. doing anything. It is not, serious it's work. It's not fun. It is serious work. Right. <sighs> Do you want to sit down and I'll show no. you how to make goofy relatives? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm a goofy relative of yours. <laughs> well, I know that's for sure. Hey, there you go. So one of the person's Alexa is now talking. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the same person. We set off her Siri. Now we set off Alexa. <laughs> Hi, Angie. Okay. Sounds good to Angie. Everyone okay. have a good time. All right. You're going to go. Bye. You're leaving? Yeah. Okay. See ya. All right. I'll let you know if everything goes uh, according to plan. The only thing that will interrupt this is if something messes up with my broadcast. Should I be recording this? Sure. Okay. All right. Well, it's going to start in the middle of whatever. We don't care. Anyhow. Uh, oh, no. Now now we have her Siri and her Alexa trying to talk to each other. We have totally messed her up. <laughs> There's actually a really funny video of them trying to do that. Oh, really? Yeah. If you look on YouTube, you can find where... They have Siri and Alexa trying to talk to each other, and they just keep going back and forth and back and forth. I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Alexa and Siri having a conversation. That is funny. They cannot communicate. Uh, <clears throat> yep, all three of us are here. Hi, Cindy. Okay, so meanwhile, back at the what I was kind of thinking about doing, um, just in an effort to see if we can make this happen um so i'm just going to be messing around playing with the cameras and sometimes the um things get a little things get a little cranky sometimes hi ruth so what we're going to do as i'm playing is i'm just going to do some goofy relatives and in case you guys don't know what those are i'll go through these really quickly and then we'll mess about with some of them. So if you see, if the shots become annoying because I'm changing them a lot, I'm doing that on purpose, just so you guys know, because this is the testing thing. So here are the Goofy Relatives. We did these not too long ago from this little, this little book. We did these, and there was a story. So these are my family photos. <laughs> You'll notice the quotes around family. I do have family. I'm just not very close to most any of them. <laughs> my I, my family is a very select group that I chose. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Hi, Tracy. Um, hi, Diane. And hello to anybody that I didn't happen to see. Hi, Janet. Um, so anyway, yeah, we did this back in January. Because I have it written down. See, that's why you should always sign and date your work. So anyway, here are the, the relatives that we did in January. This was a live stream. And then I wrote a story that, that you know, just a little blurb about each one. So these are the crazy, goofy relatives or whatever you want to call them. And um, yeah, so here they are in all of their glory. I don't always do them quite this big. I did for this book because that was the the book was already done. Exactly, I should paint his face just for being a pain. He's a pain sometimes, I'm telling you. He's a pain. 
Now, I'm really glad to have him home, I'll tell you that. We don't get to spend nearly enough time together since we live many, 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 many miles apart from each other. So these are all the goofy relatives. This is one of my favorites because he has a um, he has a bird nest on his head with a bird in it. Hey, Dawn. Good to see you. You got to be getting close to moving, don't aren't you? You got to be getting close to that. Yeah. So there's that. So um, again, I'm gonna mess about with the cameras a little bit, just so you can. So some of it may not look a whole lot different to you. I'm just playing with stuff. So there is that little book. This is one of my mandalas. If you don't, okay, commercial. Oh, I'm so glad that someone reminded me of that. Not. <laughs> if you don't have your Mandala Madness inspiration cards. Do I have one here? I do. Um... Yeah, if you don't have your Mandela Madness inspiration cards, then all you got to do is look in the video description box below. You'll find a link below. Um, picture's a little blurry back and forth. Sometimes it's going to be blurry be depending on what's in the shot and what's not because that's kind of what the cameras do sometimes. And yes, so I'm going to come out a little bit. Okay, so let's go back over here. And here's another book of Goofy Relatives. This is similar, except it's a different shape book. This is one of those books that goes and goes and goes. So it's an accordion. So you can set this with your relatives. If you make a book like this, you can set it up on the mantle. See? So you can have your family photos all stretched out on your mantle. Hi, Kathy. Um, am I using two cameras? No, I have uh, four cameras. I actually have four cameras, and I have seven. I have seven or eight different shots set up. I, I I'm telling you, I'm telling you that I have this set up like I did it, <laughs> which is a total lie. I operate it. And that's, I should deserve credit for that because I do operate it. Um, but yeah, it's set up by the tech department. Hey, Ruth. So yeah, that's a story of that. Okay. We're playing today. We're just playing today. Uh, I'm playing with cameras. I'm playing with camera shots because we did some changing and um, so forth. So these are some of the other relatives and so these have um i like this one no idea what happened to my neck <laughs> bye christine good to see you and so if that's not enough relatives then we have um more relatives you know I don't know if I resemble all of them or any of them, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could re be related to most of them. So anyway, there is that one. So that's a couple of different books. This one is the slot and tab book. This was we made this book on stream in January. So if you want to know how to do this little style of book, it's nice because it lays flat. It's easy to create. And so this is an easy book to do. This one's super easy too because it's just um, an accordion style book. So that one's super easy. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's see. This one is a do, -si do book. This one was made in 2014. 2014. And so this is um, more relatives. These don't, haven't been named. They haven't been captioned. Um, you can see he's had a kiss planted on his cheek. Hi, Azure. They're not named after any people I know. They're just, uh, but I can look at them and sort of, sort of know 
you know, who they remind me of. <laughs> yeah. He's one of my favorites. You know, they're like your children. Poor thing. He had a he has a bad green birth um, birthmark there. Some of these poor people look like they have, I mean, mother and daughter. And some of these, the watercolor, this is really super cheap paper that I used on this. So some of these, the, the watercolor transferred. Because um, I clearly didn't wait until it was completely dry or something. Who knows? It's also cheap, cheap, cheap watercolor. Thanks, Dawn. So, yeah, they're just, some of them look like they swallowed something really bad. And then when you come over to this side, you see this is a do, -si -do book. So you come over to this side and we have some more. She's one of my favorite characters. I like her a lot. Um, he's got his, he, he reminds me of some of these kids I see in the mall with, their hair, you know, all different colors and sticking up. <laughs> I don't know what my com compulsion is with these long neck people, but, you know, at least they're not broken long necks. They're just long necks. I think he's green with envy. <laughs> Could be. I like this one, too. <clears throat> some of these are definitely my favorites and some of them not so much. Poor kid. Her mother made her look just like her. Poor thing. Poor thing. Poor, poor, poor thing. I like him too. Um, and I like her. You'll see why in a minute. So anyway, those are those are two sides of the Dosey Doe book. And then if you flip it around, then you'll see these are just watercolor blobs. And then once I put the blob down, then I just made something out of the blob. Hi, Luna. You like the long necks? <laughs> they're so funny. Ah, they're just so funny. So this is what I saw in the blob. Same thing. So I just slopped down some watercolor. And then you just, it, this is the, the technique that Carla Sondheim uses. In fact, these, the thing with the relatives, this is very, very, it's a takeoff, um, well, we should say inspiration from, but it's a an offshoot from her face class. And if you look in her book, uh, Imaginary, what is it? Imag uh, not imaginary. She has one that's imaginary animals, but she has another one that is, it's like drawing for mixed media artists or watercolor for mixed media artists or something. I have the book right over there behind that door, but... I have to get up and go go get it to tell you what it is. So, yeah. So, again, these are just watercolor blobs. And then I figured out, you know, something that was there. And you see there's a blob, part of the blob here that I didn't even do anything with. So, just because there's part of the blob there doesn't mean you have to use it. You can just um, ignore it. And, like, here, there was another blob, you know, Multicolor blobs. Now, the the ground underneath them I put in later. But anyway, it looked like something was on his back. I don't have any idea what these things are. So, you know, you make them up as you go, right? I like her a lot. She's one of my favorite characters. Um, I really like her. And she just looked like that. You know, she just looked that way. And I like him. This one, not so much, but, you know, I'm not much of a poodle person. I don't have anything against poodles. I just, yeah. And you can see some of them go cattywampus, and so you just never know what they're going to be. Um, this one, I think I added, I painted the bed in later because this character just was looking too weird to me, so I gave it something to um, lean against. <laughs> And this one was funny. I painted this in later. The Because, again, he needed something, you know, to... He just needed something. And there's that one. I like this. I think that's funny. Again, it was just a blob, and then you just see what's there. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more. Like, I can tell I added the second ear later. So this was in 2014. But that is a do, -si -do book. Simple structure. Um, it's just a piece of one, 
Well, here, I can show you because I can. Uh, so it's one piece of paper. See that? So it's one piece of paper for the cover. Fold it up. Okay, folded like so. And then three books stitched into it. So easy, easy structure. Easy little structure. Yeah. So again, if you're here watching this and you notice me being annoying with changing the camera shots, it's because I'm doing that on purpose. Because <laughs> I'm testing this. I am testing. We're testing, testing, testing. Hi, Kathy. We have a couple of Kathy's here. Hi, Sheila. Um, yeah, the do -si do books are really, they're really neat. And it's um, spelled D-O-S. So, dos as in, in Spanish. D-O-S. Um, and I think it's, it's either a Y. I think it's Y, isn't it? D-O-S and then Y and then D-O-S. do -si do books. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Somebody may correct me. All right, then this one, this is a little teeny, little teeny tiny book. And um, so that's what we have here, this little tiny book. And so if you don't, if your relatives, you know, if your book is too little, and this is another do -si do book, okay? So this is another do -si do Same thing as the other one, except it's tea tiny and um, so these are found relatives and this I don't know if you can see probably can because lot look I can zoom in and show you <laughs> see see that it's written in pencil then I went back over it with ink and then I didn't even bother to go back and uh, erase out the pencil yeah so that's kind of crazy isn't it so anyway uh, these are more found relatives in this one I called them found relatives but most of the time I call them goofy relatives or um, something like of that nature. Hi, Nanette. It is just a test. It's just a test. And uh, so these all have names. Yeah, these all have names, but they're just characters. She looks like she swallowed a bad jar of pickles. <laughs> bad jar of pickles. Yeah, this little mini book is really fun. And the size of this mini book, just to give you some point of reference, is two and five eighths inches by two and five eighths inches. It's square. Mm -hmm. Look at me being smart. Mm -hmm. So, great Aunt Lottie, poor thing. She swallowed a bad bad something cousin bill aunt millie second cousin sunny mm -hmm. where do these names come from i have no idea uncle bob cousin tom aunt mary uncle stan great uncle fred again i don't know where the names come from and butch second cousin twice removed mm -hmm. he has all kinds of piercings can you see the piercings and you see all his piercings? He has a piercing up here in his eyebrow, one in his ear. He has a big old hole in his ear, one in his um, under his lower lip, and then one through his nose. <laughs> yeah, that's Butch. Cousin, second cousin, twice removed. <laughs> and then we come over, let's see, do we have more in there? No. So then... For whatever reason, I um, I turned the book upside down. See, there's the way we were looking at it. But then this side, you have to flip it around in order to see what's on this side. So this is more of the blob animals, uh, except I used more colors in these. So you just put the watercolor down, and then you see what you see in the, in the blob of watercolor. Sometimes I can really see things, and sometimes I can't see anything worth a bean, you know. So, um, yeah, so he's, uh, he's standing on his critter on a sunny day. So this guy is standing on his critter on a sunny day. Mm -hmm. And this guy's just taking a walk. I mean, sometimes they're just so weird looking, right? 
feeling fancy. And uh, this is, he's not either my imaginary friend. He's for reals. <laughs> now, I don't know which one is imaginary and which one is for real, but yeah. Who's imagining who in this? But anyway, I saw two characters, so that's what I inked in. Green apple, good. Mm-hmm. Don't ask me. I have no idea what I am. Yeah, isn't that the truth? We don't know what it is. Two-faced. Um, and if you look at this, you see a profile. See that? See the profile? But then if you look at it the other way, you see the whole face. So, yeah, that's one of my favorite people that does this is Angelia Thompson. Is that her name? I think it's Angelia Thompson. We used to communicate a lot online. I haven't seen her online for a while. Um, Senor takes a siesta. And uh, war paint. And that's how the colors turned out on that face. In that blob. That's just how the colors turned out. And I saw a face in it, so I drew it. Mm -hmm. It is not a rug. Because <laughs> it looked like he had a really bad hair piece on. So that is that part of the book. And then we have one more. See, so we've done this part of the book and this part of the book. See how they're upside down from each other? How pitiful is that? That I didn't even stitch it right side up. Then... In the other side of the do si -do are, um, this is the boys' picture album. Yes. If you don't know who the boys are, they are the sponsors. Mm -hmm. It is. Tracy says it's a good exercise for the brain. You're absolutely right. Hi, Michelle. Um, so this is the boys' picture album. And the boys are the sponsors, Chance and Charlie. If you've been hanging around here any length of time at all, <laughs> you know who they are. So these are just various pictures that um, I snapped and then I shrank them, put them in my computer and reduced them in size so that they would fit the pages of this little book. Um, and they were taking in this one, I'm going to switch shots here. Hang on one second. Um, in this picture, they this they do this frequently where they take simultaneous baths. Yeah, they take simultaneous baths. At the same time, they will just sit down, lay down, and take a bath. And that day when I took that photo, it was just they just stopped and looked at me like, uh, do you mind? We are busy, right? We are busy. And this one, they are Siamese cats, so this was a play on words. I'm sure you figured that out. Joined at the butt. I don't know if I can get this close enough for you to see that. They had been outside. And the graininess of the picture is because the picture is um, the picture's grainy. That's not really the camera. That's the picture, the photograph. Um, they'd been outside. This is a door right back here. There's a door. And so I let them go out on my deck. And uh, they came in, and it was really warm out there. They came in, and both of them just collapsed just inside the door. <laughs> so crazy they're so crazy and then we had the war of the sink and so this is the bathroom that is in my studio space and so charlie went in there one day because the sun was streaming in the skylight and he got in the sink and he was just enjoying that he is the one and only day they ever did that yeah it's a one and only day they ever did that Dawn says, Gracie and Misty do that when she's trying to go to sleep. Yeah, that's when they'll take a bath. And they are so loud uh, when they do that. They slurp and carry on. So this was Charlie in the sink that day. And then later that day, Chance chased him out of the sink. So he's in the sink, soaking up the sun. Mm -hmm. And this was when I, this is my art journal. You can see the art journal under there. And Chance got up, planted himself right on the art journal and uh, wouldn't let me work yeah so he's just like hello did you remember the cat hello <laughs> yeah and um, this was a basket that I had and Charlie climbed in settled himself on top of all the stuff that was in the basket and this is a raccoon that I painted uh, it's actually painted in oil paint I painted that back in the 70s sometime the funny story about that that raccoon is it's a keychain and i painted that 
I brought it home. I did it in a class. I came home because it was a decorative painting class. So I came home with it, and uh, my son was about, who is the technical department or the bodyguard or whatever you want to call him today. And he came home, or I brought it home. He was there, and I showed it to him, and um, I said, what is that? Because he was just really learning animals and all that. And he, and he looked at me, and he says, it's wet. Because <laughs> we had clearly had many discussions about how you can't touch things painted with oil paint. Yeah, so he wasn't even going to go there. He was not going to talk about it being a raccoon because it was wet. It's wet, he said. Yeah, that's so cute. Don't tell him I said that, but it's true. Um, so that raccoon, to me, looked very much like Charlie. So anyway, yeah, I've had that little raccoon keychain hanging on that basket for 100 years. Yeah, okay, so there's a story about this. Um, do you see what Chance is doing? Hi, Katrina. So do you see what Chance is doing? He is dipping his paw down into the mug and um, getting his paw full of coffee that day and pulling it out and licking his paw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Now, here's the bad part about this. <clears throat> it was really funny when I saw him do it, but you know where their paws have been, right? Digging in the litter box and stuff. And I don't know how long he'd been doing that when I discovered him that day, sticking his paw down in my coffee cup. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know how long that had been going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how long that had been happening. And then here is this one. Uh, this was a basket that I made. This is one of those clothesline, fabric-covered clothesline stitched bowls. You stitch it under the sewing machine. You wrap the clothesline. You stitch it and put it together. Hi, Kathy. Boy, we are, we are overrun with Kathy's today. That's great. Thanks, thanks everybody, for showing up because this was truly, yeah, like totally, totally impromptu because we're just seeing uh, what everything, if everything's going to work correctly. Yeah, you is right. Uh, so anyway, yeah. You to this, and, but this was funny. So this basket, this cloth basket, is not nearly big enough for a big fat Siamese cat butt because he is big and fat, and it's not nearly big enough for him, but that's what he decided to do. So he took over. He took ownership of this basket, so he's just got his toys in there. Those are fabric mice. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Journey. Um, so he just took it over and just planted his uh fat cat butt right in there and so this is a joke with my husband sometimes i sits and sometimes i just sits and thinks or sometimes i sits and sometimes no barb read the read the print barb sometimes i sits and thinks sometimes i just sits <sighs> if i could read my own writing uh we need a vacation yeah they were any box that is in the studio empty box they will take it over so i don't know where that box came from but uh, they just got in it and it's not nearly big enough for two big fat cats but they made it big enough and inky well is Dee, Dee willingham here on youtube and uh, she was always threatening to take my cats uh, because she likes siamese cats so she was always threatening to take the cats and then she traitorized and got two cats of her own so yeah so now they don't now, if they can't stay here, they're homeless. Homeless, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, um, I told you that some of my characters were my favorites when I was going through the, the various little books. And so, this is, you'll recognize some of them probably. This was from, these were the same characters turned into fabric. And creating a um, like a family tree, like a vertical family tree, using some of the same uh, same characters. So this guy, I'm not sure I can show you where they can't which book they're in. Let's see. 
maybe maybe I can show you oh yeah okay so this guy is this one okay so turned into fabric this girl is um, let's see looking for her looking for her just a minute here this one <clears throat> Is this girl so you see they change when you render them in fabric but still you still have the the flavor of um, of the character and then we have this one and that is see I have to look because I don't remember oh this one okay this one is this one And then we have this one. Let's see if I can find her. It's been a while since I've looked through these like this. When I find him, it's like, oh yeah, that's the one, you know, but it's been a while since I've looked through here. Not that one. This one. Okay, so this one is this one. Bye, Denise. Thanks for um, thanks for checking in with us and hanging out for a little bit. And this guy is it'd help if I had them all in the same little section, but no. Mm -mm. And so this guy is this one. And so this is the family. Mm -hmm. So this is like a vertical family tree or a bell pole. So they can go on a hang in one of those narrow spaces in your house. So there's that one. And so this was, this was a VIP class for the VIP members on the website. And here are a couple more. So this one is turned into like a separate piece, like an ATC. So essentially these are ATCs. Are they maybe a little bigger than ATC size? Let's look. Again, I don't remember exactly. So let's see. I uh, know they're a little bit bigger. So these are, with the background, they're about three inches by four inches. So they're half an inch bigger both ways than an ATC. But, you know... It, to shrink them down any smaller than that is tough. So, hi Barbara. And so this is one of the um, characters. Let's see. We'll see if we can find the characters. Oh, here she is. I happened to turn to her. Lucky. So this is this one. So here she is as a blob and here she is in fabric. So this was bits and pieces of that one. And this one is just in process. Not very much done on this one. And that one is this one. Done in fabric. They're just, they're really a lot of fun. So, and, and you'll find... Um, You'll find if you hang around watching me any length of time, you'll find that I do that. I'll do something and then I'll, that sparks an idea and then I make it, you know, take it off in a different direction or render it in a different medium or, um, you know, but, uh, partly because I get bored. <laughs> Just partly because I get bored, you know. Okay, so in these, the little books, there's two books in here. The slot and tab books are in a little bookcase. This was another class for the VIP members. Just so you know kind of what goes on. I am going to film some behind the scenes kinds of uh, videos so you can see exactly what is behind the scenes at the website, at the member in the member area, so you can see what we do there. It's on my list. It is on the list. Okay, so uh, this is going to drive the camera crazy for a little bit till we get some color slapped on here. 
So I'm going to have to keep my hand in here, so you're going to get to look at my hand. This is just a piece of watercolor paper. And here is what I'm using. Uh, this paper does not look like this anymore. I don't think it's packaged with this kind of uh, cover on it anymore. This this is from Michael's here in the United States. It's 140 pound watercolor paper and uh, that's what I'm using. So I just have a piece of that. Oh hi, um, I don't know what your name is. Peepo, uh, but welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so what I have is a watercolor paper, and this is just a test stream. So, <laughs> Tracy's new too. Well, welcome. You guys caught us on a day when we're just doing some testing. So, normally I'm a little more or organized, and <laughs> normally I broadcast on the first Friday of the month, and we call it uh, Drama Free Friday. However, it's Drama Free Friday on Monday today. So, yeah. <laughs> Why is it drama free? Because we don't do drama around here. We just have fun. That's all. We just have fun. Okay. So what I'm using is a... Um, hey, CB. <laughs> Miss, I'm only testing. That's right. That's right. So what I'm using is Kids Watercolors. This is my favorite... Uh, palette of watercolors for this technique. I have used more expensive watercolors. I don't have a lot of more expensive watercolors, but I do have some. Uh, I don't like this technique nearly as well as the kids' watercolors. So these are Angora watercolors. I know you can hardly see that, but that's what it says. Angora. A-N-G-O-R-A. -A, watercolors. And so it's a kids' palette. And I've used this palette for ages and ages and it just keeps on going i'm telling you these crazy colors don't wear out oh no so anyway all right so you will again as i'm going through this you're going to see me switching cameras a lot switching shots because we're just um seeing how things are holding up today so if you uh, are trying to see something and then I switch it to a different shot a different angle no worry no worry be happy because <laughs> we're just playing today okay <laughs> yeah drama free Friday on Monday okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wet the brush and uh, get one of these little kind of flesh tones kind of damp and so I'm just, I don't even know what the colors are. This looks like yellow ochre to me. This looks like raw sienna. This looks like burnt sienna. Who knows what they really are. And I just slopped some water in them. Yeah, this is in no way uh, the way you're supposed to do watercolor. Uh, d don't even, don't even think that I'm teaching you anything about watercolor. Mm -mm. I'm not teaching you anything here today. I'm just playing. So this is plain old watercolor paper. And I'm just going to... Get, and this isn't even a watercolor brush. <laughs> it's just a craft brush. So I'm just getting some soupy paint here, which takes a, a quick second to do that. So I just some soupy paint. And then I'm just going to make a blob. Okay. I'm just going to make a blob. And then I'm going to put a nose on it. Like that. And then I'm going to put a neck. Okay. And so that's the size of how a uh, one of these people starts and I can put little lips on here if I want to put a little shape for the lips like so if I want a, a crazy chin I just can add a crazy chin and so we have the beginning of a person and if I want to give them a little bit of a shoulder I just give them a little shoulder hey Josie yeah so that's what we do okay so I'm going to let that sit for a second, and you kind of have to look at it uh, because it's very wet, it's very soupy, and there's a fine line. See the water? There's a fine line. While I'm doing this, i got to put some water in one of these pink colors. 
what I'm doing is letting these, um, letting some of the moisture evaporate out of the paper. Now, I may, t sometimes I screw this up and sometimes I do it right. So, you know, that's just the way it is. That's the how of it. So I'm going to get a hold of one of these little pink colors, this one that I put too much water in. So I'm going to get a hold of a little bit of that. Okay, I got a little pink. A little pink. I'm going to come over here in kind of the cheek area, and I'm going to drop in a little bit of color in the cheek. And I'm going to leave it alone for a minute and see what it does. Uh, because what I'm after is for it to kind of spread and wick. And if it doesn't do it enough... Sometimes I get in here with a little of the other color and just tap around the edge and just let it wick out. Mm -hmm. Hi, Joey. Oh, these are kids' watercolors, and it, the brand is Angora. So these are kids. You can hardly see it because it's so nasty, but Angora, A-N-G-O-R-A. -A, the cheapest thing you can find. Uh, I did find, now, having said that, let me tell you this. Uh, the, my other favorite kids palette is the Prang watercolors. I, I love Prang watercolors because they're so heavily saturated and so bright and pretty. I don't like them for this. They have too much pigment and I have not been successful with that at all. So I like the cheap ones that don't have much pigment. Um, hi Judy. So anyway, back to the relatives. All right. So you see how it's, um, how it's kind of moving around. The color is moving around. How are we doing? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine? I just want to look at something on the... Before you better say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Wait, look over there. Hi, See, look in that camera. See, up there. You yeah, got to look up there. You can't look here. You got to look up there. <laughs> technical, technical departments in the house. I can't talk, but I know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there it is. So you can see the cheek is kind of um, blending out a little bit. That's what I'm after. Yeah, this is the technical department, a.k.a. race. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get, I know I'm zoomed in really far, but that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get a little bit of this brown color. And if it's too much, then I get some of it and I put it up here like this. I know I'm zoomed in really close, but I wanted you to be able to see what I was doing. And then I'll come over here and I'll put some hair on this. And at this point, who knows what this character is? It could be male or female. I don't know. I don't know. And so I'll just come around and I often just let them be um, kind of androgynous you know this could be male or female doesn't matter doesn't matter and sometimes that hair will kind of blend down that's how that one that was really green that's how that one happened it just kind of bled down into the body <clears throat> i know they come for a visit and then they drive you crazy right okay so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to get a little blue just because I felt like it, so I'm just gonna get a little blue. I mean, I don't, tr I do not treat these watercolors with kindness. I've had this palette for really a really long time, as I said earlier, and that's just the truth. That's just the truth. All right, so once it's souped up, then I'm gonna come down here, and I don't always do this, but I'm gonna do it on this one. I'm just gonna um, put, you know, kind of a body shape. And so she, the, she, whatever, whatever this person is, could be facing front and turn the head to the side. You know, that could be, or I can do something else with it. Who knows what I'm going to do? I don't even know. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, so let's come on down. I'm just going to put some, yeah, I'm trying to do the palette and trying to do the paper so you can see. And mm -hmm. It's a challenge. It's a challenge, so you're going to have to see my, my cruddy-looking hands hanging in here. Okay, let's grab another color. This is yellow, kind of a yellow ochre. I'm going to grab some of this other one. See, I not, so I'll just mix colors together. 
you know, just mix colors together. I don't care. Uh, th so this is one way to do it where you work with wet paint like this. And so I'll come down here and let's make another person. I'm giving them some space because um, I'm probably going to cut these out. You're from Utah? Nice. Do you wanna do you wanna give us a name to call you by? It's totally up to you. So I'm just gonna give an oval shape like that. And then um, maybe we'll put some ears on this one. I love goofy looking ears. And then maybe a neck, you know, a little neck. Paulette. Welcome, Paulette. Nice to have you join us. And then maybe a little bit of the shoulder. Okay. So again, I'm going to let these sit for, let it sit for a little minute. And what I'm trying to do is to let some of that moisture kind of get out of the paper a little bit. If I flip this up, you can see how really super wet this is because I'm painting with wet paint. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Carlin. Is it Carlin or Carolyn? Yeah, I, we don't get to see him nearly often enough, but I will take him anytime I can get him. Let me tell you, anytime. So you can see this this particular little um, cake of watercolor hardly has any uh, divot in it because apparently I don't like this color. So let's give it a little bit of love. So I'm going to put some water in it, soften it up a little bit. Hi, Burl. I hope I'm saying your name right. I know I've seen your name before, but I can't remember for sure from Belgium. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I got some color here. So maybe some of this moisture has, has blended out a little bit. So I'm going to drop a couple cheeks. Since this one is face forward, I'm going to put um, a couple of dots here. Now, sometimes these just run into each other. You can see that bleeding out. Um, right away and this one up at the up above you can see how that's now softened that cheek is softened and you can see how some of the hair is kind of uh, blended down into the face a little bit I like that this one um, I got the paint a little thick and so who knows what it's going to do it looks kind of thick to me so I'm going to touch that with a wet brush that I wiped off on the towel and pick up a little bit of that because that was really kind of thick. The paint pigment was a little thick. So if you use, if you take the brush like this, if you take the brush and then get most of the moisture out of it on a paper towel, then it's, then it will let you just kind of soak up some of the excess. And sometimes you make it worse, you know, that was kind of worse. So sometimes I go back and I try again and I drop another piece, little thing of paint in there. And then, then I'm going to try and leave it alone. I don't always leave it alone. Yeah, sometimes I don't leave it alone. Sometimes I come in and mess around with it. And sometimes you make it worse than it was to start with. And But somehow by the time you get done with them, they all work out. Yeah. Looks like a bleeding potato. I know. Isn't that funny? They all look like potatoes, like potato heads. Okay, so let's put some hair on this one. Let's use, um, I'm going to mix up some of this green. Now, this is where you get in trouble because if it's too wet, the face is too wet, it'll bleed the green down into the hair, so or into the head. So we'll see. I don't know. Could happen. And so I just play with them. You could tell by all the ones I showed earlier how much I just play with these. Uh, I'm not committed to the outcome. I don't care how they turn out because somehow they all turn out. You know, somehow they all turn out. All right, so let's get um, purple. And we'll give this one a little bit of something. A garment of some kind. Sometimes I do this with garments and sometimes I don't. 
And so I just usually give them a little bit of something, something. And then we say, yep, good enough. All right. So we've got, um, so you can see how that one, this one, the um, paint, the color didn't bleed in because I messed with it too much. You see how nice that blended into the face? This is what I like best, but I don't always get that. More times than not, I will get this. <laughs> you go, oh, wish that hadn't happened, but oh well. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, we're going to come over here. And I'm going to show it to you painting them from a different angle just because I'm going to use the camera, different a different camera. So we're going to find a little bit of paint. And you can always paint, you know, mix your paints up here in the palette. Green hair is perfect, huh? Yeah, I know. And I'm leaving space between the faces in case I want to cut them out, which is probably what I'll do because I don't normally paint them quite like this. Okay, so this one just ended up with a nose kind of shape right there. See that? Um, and maybe a double chin, huh? Or a mouth and a double chin. And then um, we'll bring down a neck, a little bit of body. If you want to learn a lot of really interesting ways to do faces and stuff, you need to check out Carla Sondheim's Faces 101 class. Highly recommend it. All right, a little bit of cheek color. There's a fine, fine line between too much, too wet, and too, and not wet enough. This is watercolor paper. It's super cheap watercolor paper. Cheap watercolor paper, cheap watercolors. All right, little, little blob for a little cheek color. Um, we'll see what that wants to do. We'll encourage it a little bit. Get it to run, blend into the background a little bit. Okay, let's put some hair on this one, maybe dark brown. I don't know. So I'm just, when my palette moves, it's going over and getting water. Okay, so just picking up some color. All right, so let's put some hair on this one. And again, sometimes I do this when it's too wet and the color runs down into the face. And uh, it happens. It happens. You can't, when you're messing around with something like this, you cannot worry about the outcome. You just got to play. We don't play enough. We do not play enough. Okay, so we got a little hair going on. A little updo. A little updo. Yeah, these are super cheap. These are kids' watercolors. There is the palette name Angora. It says they're made in Germany. I don't know. Maybe they are. Um... This is a craft brush. Okay, this is an old, see if I can get it where you can see it. This is a Claudine Helmuth Studio. These are so old, they're not made anymore. The Ranger Company still makes these brushes, but they're not packaged under Claudine's name anymore. All right, so I'm going to come over here and get some pinkish reddish. This is just a test, okay? This is just a test here today. I'm not trying to teach you anything. I'm just playing and talking through my process. <clears throat> so I'm just putting some of that same color that I used in her cheek. Or its cheek. I don't know if it's a she. And then I'm just going to let that be a side view of this person. Now, what you're going to see up here, and this is the danger in some of these cheap watercolors, 
is that you can see how it's blooming around there and so it's getting kind of a strange ugly look <clears throat> this is all about timing where you get this look if you time the drop of the cheek color correctly and if you don't you get that or you get um, this see that oh and look see there you go bleeding green hair down into that face so we'll see if we can chase that back a little bit huh which is a little hard to do with uh, watercolor so anyway sometimes you just have most of the time you just have to be okay with what you get because sometimes it looks good and sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't look good then you make a real ugly relative <laughs> then you make a real ugly relative so I'm going to get pick up some darker color. Okay, so I'm going to blend a couple of browns together. And then we're going to just make another one because we can. Mm -hmm. But if they look like potatoes, you pretty much done it right. You got to have enough pigment that when it dries, um, that it still has color sometimes if you don't let it dry or if you don't have enough color you'll end up um, they'll look too pale and washed out so just drop in you know make a shape make a shape okay make a shape an oval ish kind of shape I'm gonna put ears on this one like that like that so just little mounds for ears okay let's see if we can time the cheek color better don't know that I can but we're gonna try it all right so I put in dropped in a couple of little spots <clears throat> for cheeks I will give this character a neck how about a long neck I don't know why because I feel like it a little shoulder a little shoulder going on it is like looking yeah it is like looking at um at clouds you're right you're absolutely right so i'm gonna get some dark 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 maybe some black and this is dangerous i'm doing this over my palette <laughs> i mean right over my painting so you never know when i drop some inadvertent watercolor right into what i'm doing but since this is just a silly little experiment it doesn't make any difference okay so let's um, put some hair like so okay so we got some hair going on and then maybe a shirt of sorts so grab a maybe a dark green blue green I'm so zoomed in I'm having I'm having a challenge finding the camera so you guys can see I'm really zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing on the face look at me making excuses mm-hmm so I'm just gonna put some color down here like so just to kind of indicate shoulders or a shirt or whatever now this one this one is the color is just sitting there so I'm gonna pat off my brush and I'm just gonna see if I can soak up some of that extra pigment because it's just gonna sit there and make a pool so we'll just let that maybe that'll help now these cheeks look a little bit better see how these cheeks are blending a little bit better they're not forming this ugly looking ring <laughs> this this poor soul may never make it into a book mm -hmm. may never make it into a book mm -hmm. yeah sometimes that happens sometimes that happens all right so let's go back over here and yeah see that poor little thing this poor little thing it's funny though you can still make that into a character that's really a funny face 
Let me see if I can find one that that happened to. Let's see if I can find one where that cheek color did that. Well, this, okay, on this one, his cheek color started running, you know, all over. So that's why he turned out to be so red. Yeah, that's what happened to him. I probably didn't put any of them in here that the cheek color didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Because that's, you see how it blended? Yeah, that's what you're really after. All right, this one didn't blend quite as much, but, you know, it still did a little bit. This one, okay, He see how splotchy he is? Um, I mean, he's really splotchy. That's just because I wasn't doing a very good job with the color. Uh, but it still turns out fine. Hey, Mary. So, yeah, sometimes they look okay. Sometimes they don't. You go, oh, whatever, right? Whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's look at these. Yeah, these look okay. I like them to have, there's, oh, here, here, this one. This is a funny one. First of all, the cheek color, I didn't get it on there right, so it looked awful. And then I put her hair on here, up here at the top, and it ran clear down into her face. So that's why she looks like she does. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they just don't always turn out very well. And this, this I think I was using Prang watercolor. See how splotchy that is? Um, so the cheap watercolor works a lot better. The stuff that has less pigment. I'm looking for one. Yeah, see, her cheek didn't didn't do well at all. Neither did his. Very splotchy, and you end up with these the bloom where it, the the lines dry and all that kind of stuff. But they still turn out fine, you know. Here's one where it, it didn't go so well. Here's another one. Now you can see that one right there. That's probably a really good example of how I put in the cheek color and it just went out and it made just a big old spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just made a big old spot. So if it does that, it does that, you know? You just don't worry about it, right? Mary knows that. I hear Mary say that all the time. She's not a perfectionist. I get it. Okay, so uh, we have those faces going on, right? So far, so good. Let's see if we can do a couple more. They have to be really dry before you can turn them into people. And it's a high degree of probability that these will not get dry enough to do much to. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's go again. Hi, Sophia. No, you might as well forget about perfection. There is no way. If you're trying to be per uh, seek perfection, you're just going to seek perf seek uh, frustration. That's what you're really seeking. You're not seeking perfection. You're seeking frustration. Right, Mary? <laughs> All right, so let's make another one, shall we? Make another potato head. Oh, and sometimes when I'm just splatting on the color... Sometimes it's like, oh, that's perfect. There's the nose. You know, it's like, eh. see, here we are talking about perfect. And then I say, look, it's perfect. Sometimes it's fun to just work with whatever happened, whatever happened to happen. How do you like that? Whatever happened to happen. All right, so we got kind of got a little blob there you got to give them the back of their head has to have you know you got to give them a little more whoops picked up the wrong color oh well so I'll just kind of mess around with it till I get kind of get a shape I like so apparently I'm painting the head and the hair at one time I didn't know I was going to do that, but apparently that's what I'm doing. So since that's the situation, I'll just pick up a little more dark brown, put it around the outside edge. We'll let that be here. Okay, that's going to bleed into the face, by the way, and make a big mess, but, you know, oh well. All right, let's see if we can drop in a little bit. 
bit of cheek color. Maybe we can do a better job this time. I'm getting a little bit. These paints do dry out quickly, so i got to put in some more um, paint all the time. So, okay, let's do a little cheek. A little cheeky cheek and see what happens. All right. Who knows? Who knows? All right, and now let's put um, a little outfit. Make a little outfit. Mm, maybe this hot pink color. I don't know. Maybe it's not hot pink. It's kind of pinkish. So I'm going to get some of that. So what are you guys doing today? Just checking online to see if anybody was doing anything to entertain you? <laughs> we're, just, we're just hanging out testing stuff. Just testing stuff here today. This is Drama Free Friday on Monday. In case any of you were confused about what is what in the world is Barb doing on today? Well, it's because it's Drama Free Friday on Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll let her now see her cheek. See what her cheek did. Her cheek just went. Pew. Yeah, you just can't worry about that. You honestly cannot worry about it. Look, look what the cheeks are doing. See that one? You just can't sweat it. This poor thing. Poor guy. May he rest in peace. This poor guy will probably never make it anywhere. Sometimes the first one you do is the best one. Sometimes the last one you do is the best one. You never know. You never know. There's hanging out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Braddy Patty. Braddy Patty's working. All right. And see what this one is doing up here. It's just wicking. The color's wicking and just making all kinds of little, you know, who knows what. All right, let's do another one. I don't know. You guys are you guys are desperate for somebody to watch. If you're hanging out watching watercolor uh, bloom, <laughs> bloom and bleed, bloom and bleed. All right, let's go for another one. And see, some of these weird shapes happen when I get really tired of doing, you know, the same shape. Then I just, then I start going. And just going. And see what, see what's going to happen here. Okay, this one kind of looks like it might be, yeah, we're just going to go with it this way. Okay. All right, let's drop in some cheek color and see what happens this time. You never know. Uh-oh, Mary, what are you doing? Putting in putting in messages that are too long and YouTube's getting upset with you. Put you in the corner. All right, little cheeky cheek, little cheeky cheek. All right, see what happens. The green hair is a rock star. Poor thing looks like it has been beat up. That green haired one has been in a bad fight somewhere. Oh boy, Mary, you were busy. She's mowing grass and washing, watching, washing pots. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of work right there. That is a lot of work. All right, so we're just going to pick up some color here and just put on a shirt or something, some kind of garment down here. He must, this character must be married to that character because they have on matching clothes. They must have had to do matching clothes for their photo shoot, for their family portrait. 30 marigolds, that's a lot of work. You might be a little sore to tomorrow, Mary. You might be a little sore tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get some blonde hair on this one. This person has bleached their hair. Now, I have to put a little color in. I can't make it white like Guy Fieri or uh, Ann Burrell on the Food Network. Can't do that white like that because it won't show up on white paper, obviously. But we can do blonde, super blonde, right? Okay, so let's put some blonde hair. Now, again, this could um, immediately bleed into the face. 
And sometimes it's fun to just do some corny, goofy. So, I mean, not like these people are realistic, but sometimes it's fun to do the super unrealistic hairstyles and stuff. Like that. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. Uh-oh. Becky's mowing, trying to mow rocks. That's not good. <laughs> uh, she says, I just thought of you in Drama Free half an hour before you started streaming. Oh, how funny. Wow, well, you must have been, you must have think, been thinking me. You must have been doing wishful thinking, Shoe. Wishful thinking. Oh, uh, Ruth is cutting her oldest grandson's hair for graduation. Oh, Yeah, isn't that the truth? I talked to my granddaughter yesterday, Ruth. Ruth has met my granddaughter. She may be coming next weekend to visit for a night or more if I can get her to. Okay, so well, I'm just... Just for a second, I'm just checking cameras to make sure we're still doing A-OK -okay here. So, yeah. So, that's all I'm doing. And in case you wanted to see what a mess my desk looks like, you can see that, uh, the mess that the desk is. This that you see over here, this is my other camera, which is what I watch the chat on. So, when you see me looking sideways, I'm always looking at this camera. This little thing is what changes my shots. What you see back here are my computers. You see only one of them. There's another monitor off to the left. And then there's this one is also a computer. And this is what changes it, controls it. So I'm just doing this just to uh, show you stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, okay. And... And then, if you want to look down on the process, we can look at it this way. We'll do this for a minute. Okay? Just so, because we can, just because we can. So you can kind of see all the little relatives growing. So let me get rid of the other relatives so I don't, like, mess. The ones that are done, we don't need to be, like, messing those up, do we? We can move them out of the way. I don't want to mess up my family. My goodness. I have no idea what a mess is, Dorothy. Yeah, yeah, I do. You only get to see part of it. <laughs> Don't ask. And do not get Race in here and get him started on. The other day he says, and I quote, I gave you all this nice space over here, and what do you do? And what was couched between those remarks was, junk it up. Because race is very much a minimalist when it comes to uh, his space and his computers. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll just make some lips coming out there. And we'll just make a drop a little neck here on this guy. And so we got eyes. Okay, let's do a little more of a nose here. A little more nose. You just got to play with stuff like this. You can't take it seriously. You know, you just can't take it seriously. Okay, a little cheek. <laughs> Captain Barb on Star Trek. Yeah, believe me, I would not have any of this if it weren't for uh, the technical department believing that I was smart enough to be able to run it all. So, most of the time I do a pretty good job. Once in a while, once in a while I'll mess something up, you know, then I have to, then I have to confess. This happens not as often as it used to where I would have to confess, I'd have to call and 
wave the white flag and say, and we're really sorry I did this. <laughs> I've learned. I've learned a few things. I've learned that you don't just randomly click things. Mm -hmm. Don't randomly click stuff. You don't randomly push buttons. <sighs> Although the other day, I must confess, I accidentally created a new Facebook account. Now that one ticked me off because I didn't know that's what I was doing. I thought I was creating an account for something else. I created a Facebook account and I'm like, I oh, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. <sighs> don't even get me started. You think so? Ruth says that a clean desk is a sign of an empty mind. <laughs> don't even get me. Hey, Joan. Don't even get me started on that. Because that one, that was that was a dumb thing on my part. So sometimes you see I'm not all that in a bag of chips. Okay. So look how pretty they are. I mean, from a distance, they all look pretty good if you don't look too close at the blooming watercolors. All right, let's do some hair on this one. I'm thinking this one's, got, this one's feeling, this one's rocking the purple hair. Well, let's go with this purple. Yep, setting off your pendant alarm. Yep, sometimes you do stuff like that and you go. I, Dorothy, I think you do that just because you want to see those good-looking EMT guys come rescue you. I think that's what you were doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're trying to tell us that you didn't do that on purpose. Mm-hmm. I think we're on to your tricks, Dorothy. I think we are on to your tricks. Okay, now it's possible that that purple will just wick right on down into that face. And uh, it could happen. It could happen. Okay, now see what's happening with this one? See that cheek just went and just blended on out. Mm -hmm. Just blended right on into that skin. You just never know what it's going to do. Seriously, you never know what it's going to do. All right, so let's do another, another face here. We got room for one more. I know, Sophia, right? Accidentally. Mm-hmm. Accidentally. <laughs> We're just giving Dorothy a hard time. That's all. Because if we don't tease her, who will? Who will? I know, right, CB? Uh, we think it's, we think we're on to you, Dorothy. We think you, we are on to your game. All right. So just make a blob, make a potato. Just make a potato. I haven't even had lunch today, you guys. I have not even had lunch. Are you feeling sorry for me? Are you feeling sorry for me? Somebody should feel sorry for me. Clearly, I'm just rattling. I might be suffering low blood sugar, which could be why I'm rattling like this. Okay, a little bit of ears, a little bit of neck. We're not going to give this one very much neck. A little bit of shoulderage. All right, let's see if we can drop in some cheeks. Let's see. Are we going to be successful at cheeks on this one? I don't know. It could happen. It could happen. Okay, watch out. Oh, that one's blending right in. Yeah, that one's blending right in. That could be good. Or not. We don't know. Okay, let's uh, do some hair. Um, I've not been very successful with green hair so far. Maybe we'll try teal colored hair. What do you think? Teal green colored hair. Let's try that. This could go terribly wrong. If it does, oh well. Oh, well. Yep, see, it's going to wick right. I'm telling you. These greens and I don't have, we don't agree very much. No, we don't agree very much. Now, sometimes I come back and I put in, uh, put hats and stuff on. I'll paint those in later. If some one of them looks like it needs a hat, I'll do it later. 
Okay, maybe we'll just do um, an updo here. Because why not? Because we can. That's why. That's why. Because we can. Okay. And, um, yeah, so this could look like a bad bruise going on. So I'm just chasing that back just a little bit. Yeah, just chasing that back just a little bit. This is where you get in trouble, Barb. Stop yourself. Stop, stop, stop. As she continues. All right. Don't touch it anymore. All right. Now let's put in, um, let's get a um, shirt on here. Um, how about orange? Why not? Why not? Well, it could be a punk rocker or it could be, um, when I was a kid, the ladies, the older ladies always put blue rinses on their hair so that their hair didn't look, uh, so the gray hair didn't look yellow. And so when I was a kid, this is probably terribly disrespectful, but we always called them blue hairs. And, uh, so I don't know. Anyway, I don't mean that to be disrespectful. Could, could come across that way, but I don't mean it to be that way. Okay, so we put a little orange on. Oh yeah, that and this one's gonna have this one's gonna have hair coming down. You know, you've seen some of these people whose hair um, comes down, it curls forward on the forehead. That could be how that one's gonna go, because that one's just all wicking on down and through the forehead. Mm -hmm. Yep, yes indeed. Okay, so um, well now I dropped a little water on this paper over here. Because I was reaching across my paper with my wetness. So here are our silly little um, people. The beginnings of our silly little people. This could be one entire family photograph. You know, one of those frames. You know, you've seen those where you have the like the ovals, you know, highlighting the various family members. <laughs> it could be that. This poor thing. Look, the bruises are happening. Yeah. No, now everybody does their hair on uh, blue and purple and pink and stuff on on purpose and green and all that. They do that on purpose. You know, they are not they're not trying to cover anything up. They're just doing it on purpose. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, um yeah, so there is our family the beginning of our family portrait type thing camera is crooked oh well I'll deal with that later <clears throat> um, so there is the family so I'm gonna uh, probably I think this is still too wet yeah we might be able to do something with that one um, let me find my heat gun here for a second I normally let these air dry, but I'm going to see if I can force these to dry with a heat gun. Because they're almost dry. And then maybe we'll add some color with some pen. How's that? I didn't know they were going to be a family, but they apparently are. All right, I think those are probably dry enough, so we'll mess around with those just those two just a minute. And then seriously, I'm going to have to go because I'm going to have to go get something to eat simply because uh, I'm going to faint from hunger if I don't. <laughs> I'm going to faint dead away. Y'all are feeling sorry for me, I can tell. Mm -hmm. I can tell. So this is where you play. This is just where you start playing. So I'm going to, this is... This is what I could reach. These are Micron PN, which means they're plastic nibs. So I can reach those. And so I'm going to get a hold of those. Oh, and, and another thing you can do on these is um, after they have thoroughly dried, you can come back and you can add a little details like the lips. 
you know, take a fine brush and add a little lipstick in. Um, but you can do, that can be done after the ink goes in, you know, the ink work. You can come back and add colors and stuff then. More details with the color. Okay, so we're going to do like this. Um, when you're when you're working with a watercolor palette like this, can you see how soppy wet that is? Don't put the lid on that and uh, close that up because you're going to trap a bunch of moisture in there. That's not good. So let those dry before you do that. Okay, so this is a plastic nib, uh, which means that I find that these don't wear out as quickly. And these are, the point size of this is 0.45, I think. Yeah, 0.45 millimeters. All right, so this is where you just start playing. You just look at it and you go, okay, where's an eye? Well, an eye, since this is a profile, the eye is going to be somewhere in here and by far the easiest eye is just to do a closed eye. Let me zoom in a little tighter so you can see what I'm going to do. Um, and then I put the eyelid up here, or eyebrow, sorry, eyebrow. Just real light little marks for eyebrow and then some eyelashes. And then just to give the semblance of eye on the other side, just put in a few little eyelashes there so you can tell that there's an eyelid on the other side of the head because that's always good. <clears throat> um, if you have two eyes, you know. And uh, then down here for the nose, let me refresh my memory on what I do because it's been... It takes me a hot second to get back into these. Um, you know, you got to just get into them and and draw. Okay, a little nostril, little thing to indicate the nose wing or the flange of the nose. Um, then I think we'll we'll put a little lip in here, a little smile, and. Um, and then it, maybe we'll just outline the face here. I'm just doing a sketchy outline. And I'm going to bring the face, the chin, back into the face just a little bit long, uh, a little bit further. Outline the neck. Okay, and the neck. And then we've got, um, a, we'll, we'll make her into a lady. How's that? We'll make her a lady. And, of course, she's going to need an ear because her hair isn't down far enough. And I don't have any brown pins, so we're just going to do it with black. So we're going to just um, put her ear like this. And then maybe an earring of sorts. And then maybe just some curly hair for this one. Okay, just some curly hair, because why not? And even though the brown paint doesn't come all the way over there, that doesn't stop me from putting putting a little more hair over there. Doesn't stop me one bit. Mm -mm. So I just give her a curly perm, because that's kind of what she was asking for. She was asking for a curly perm. Mm-hmm. And then um, down here, let's see. Well, sorry, gotta get it where you can see it and keep it there, Barb. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we're gonna let her shoulders be facing front, okay? And then she's turned her head to the side. So I'm gonna give her a, a sleeve here and a sleeve here. And then I'm going to give her the front of her whatever and give her some buttons, you know, so. And maybe give her some little um, tucks in her gathered sleeve kind of thing, you know. And, uh, yeah, so that might be what we do for this one. Then you can come back with gel pens. So let me get some of those. Which 
gel pens are a staple in my uh, creative space. Yes, that's very close up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well. Take your pick. Do you want to see the relative close up or do you want to see the supplies close up? Don't say both. <laughs> so these are Jelly Roll gel pens right there. Jelly Roll pens. And so I'm going to give her a gold earring. Okay, so I'm just going to give her a gold earring. And um, then maybe we'll give her some blue. Um, and this is easier with a crayon or something. Um, I don't have a crayon, but I have some chalk. Some super inexpensive chalk soft pastels. So, um, okay, super inexpensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cotton swab. So I'll be right back. And I'm going to, this is just a cotton swab, okay? I'm going to dip it in water, so I'm going to get it wet. Duh, if you dip it in water, it's going to get wet. I'm going to take the excess moisture off of it, and then I'm going to pick up a little color, so I'm going to pick up a little blue, and I'm going to paint, see there's the chalk, and I'm going to paint this in her eyelid just touching it okay just to give her a little a little eyelid color and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end of this cotton swab I'm going to pick up a little bit of um, red just a little bit except it didn't get wet enough so I didn't get any picked up so I'm going to do that again so I have a little bit tiny little bit of red I'm going to pat that into her lips Except it didn't work. <laughs> so what's that didn't work? So we're gonna have to pick up some watercolor. Okay, and we'll let that dry, and that'll be uh, kind of a bad lipstick job, but that's okay. We're just playing. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Okay, so then I'm going to come down here to her buttons and I have some glaze pins. Glaze pins. These are by Sakura. They have a definite 3D kind of thing and these are kind of a bold tip. And so we'll give her some purple bold and these dry with a raised effect so we're gonna do that and then I bet I bet that she has a necklace on don't you suppose don't you imagine she's got a necklace on Let's see if I can find my pin well I found the blue one we'll do the blue one so let's come in and give her a necklace So this is where you just play. So we gave her a little necklace. And uh, then I'm going to come in with the purple glaze pin and just fill in the beads. And when this dries, they'll have a little bit of a raised appearance, a little shiny raised appearance. Yeah. So there she is. She's good enough. You know, and you realize she is super zoomed in, so what you're seeing is real close. <clears throat> if I uh, zoom back out, and you have to pretend that you don't see the smudges that I got on there from something. <laughs> but if she's got an oval around her, you know, in the picture frame, you'd never see that smudge anyway. Okay, so we're going to call her done. Done enough. All right, let's come down to this poor thing. And let me find my pen that I absolutely lost. Okay, here it is. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the easiest thing to do with this poor thing 
is first things first put in some eyes okay and i don't do anything fancy with eyes i just do like a little scratchy triangle and i put them right on top of the cheeks like this yeah this poor thing i just messed up my pin okay hang on a minute <clears throat> If your watercolor isn't dry enough, it is going to clog up your pen. So when that happens, get a piece of paper and clean it off. All right, so I'm going to try one more time real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to get some eyebrows, scratchy little eyebrows. I'm going to do a nose. Okay, and then I'm going to do a mouth like that like that and suggest a lower lip I'm going to suggest the philtrum of the nose I'm going to give some insides of the ears like that and then I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to outline the face and if I don't do this right um, around if there's some air space as you can see around the watercolor that's fine that's fine all right and I'm gonna come in here and do a little chin and a little neck a little Adam's apple um, a little shirt detail maybe a little ribbed neck cuz why not um, a little suggestion of the um, arm sleeve and um, and then oh then of course we have to have hair well I think this person has um, has a kind of wild ringlet kind of curls you know that they put a bunch of hair gel in and made them stick up you know how they do yeah and maybe um, maybe that's good enough for that and then uh, if you want to give them an eye you know like they're looking at something then you need to have a white gel pen so let's see if I can find one here real quick Real quick, where's my white gel pen? Come on. Hold the phone. I got a white gel pen here somewhere. Okay. Gel pens falling out of their baskets. And so then I just give them a little sparkle dot inside that eye so that he's, so that the character's looking someplace without being too fancy. And then maybe a little bit of lip action going on. Now this, because this character is kind of more of a male face, um, then I use something that is, you know, doesn't have much color, kind of a flesh tone. Because you can always add more, but boy, it's tough when you, when you put too much. So just a suggestion of lips. You know just just a little something that says lips maybe a little bit of that color in the inside of the ears like that and then maybe um, a little bit of this under the chin down the side of the neck and above the shirt you know just it just gives a little shadow just gives a little more detail like that and uh, let's see, we're going to call that, we're going to call that good. So this relative has got, you know, even though he started out to be just, hi Patricia, even though he started out to be just a complete mess, you know, he still looks a little messy with his, his cheeks and stuff there, but you can, the point is you can kind of camouflage a lot of this stuff when you start defining their character and putting in the line work and stuff. Um, you end up giving them a little more definition and character and so forth. So here's our 
lady and here's whoever this is I don't know um, and if it gets too bad you know if it's too bad and you go oh no that's really bad well then you can come in you can give them a tattoo you know I saw somebody not too long ago that had a tattoo like this they had teardrops tattooed coming down their cheek mm -hmm. and I'm like okay so we can do that you know so that gives that that cheek um, something else to look at uh, if you want to do glasses on them you can certainly do that so maybe we'll put glasses on this character put an earpiece and put another glasses frame on this one put an earpiece coming off this one hook it back over the ear we got to hook the glasses together over the nose and then to make it look like glasses then you want to use a little white and just give it some little streaks and that way it looks like you know you got glasses over the eyes so yeah now if you wanted to make them dark glasses that's another issue but yeah we're just gonna put glasses on that one so you know you can do some stuff to camouflage um, the things that you don't want to have be too obvious and then of course one of my favorite things is to drop a big old earring and give them a big old hole in the ear and then do something crazy you know with the earring here you know do something wackadoo you know put a big old pink big old pink earring uh, that might have some uh, gold spiky looking things around it you know and maybe this chain or this um, earring thing has got gold you know it's got gold things coming down so you know you just play they're, they're, these are just pretend characters nobody you know you play you play and you play and you play and you play and then when you don't know what to do you play some more <coughs> okay so there are there's our family the beginning of our family so you can see that even though this one was totally messed up I don't care I just keep playing with them and whatever happens happens because they still turn out pretty fun all right so um, I think this is going to conclude our test of this for today so thank you for hanging in here indulging me thank you for indulging me um, and uh, hanging in hi May and hanging in here with us uh, as we did a little test today so with that being said I'm going to head out so thank you so much for uh, being around and you never know I may be back if we need to test some more we have relatives we you know we should turn them into and we should give them their character you know don't you think so I could be back later you never know no promises but it could happen all right I will see you guys later thank you so much remember to get creative today because you know it's easy Come over and check out howtogetcreative.com where we have a ton and a half of uh, classes. I'm working on a class right now that's just about finished and just about ready to go up. And it's a good one. It is a long one. It's more like a workshop. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Thank you for being here. Bye, everybody.